Alrighty guys, beef bourguignon, or boeuf bourguignon. Now this has to be the best French stew. It is so easy to make, it takes a bit of time, but it's absolutely delicious and it's very straightforward. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna begin with roughly dicing three medium-sized onions. Nice and chunky, doesn't have to be small. Now let's move on to the carrots. Now we're gonna take off the top and the bottoms, and then I like to cut them into this kind of off triangle shape. I feel it gives them a bit of texture, and it's just a bit more interesting than your standard chopped carrots. So we put those to the side, and then we're going to just lightly crush about six cloves of garlic, and then we're on to the beef. You can use chuck, you can use shin, any kind of off cut works perfectly. So into a bowl, we're gonna add our onions, our carrots, our garlic, and in with some thyme, some rosemary, and then we're adding some red wine. Now traditionally here, we should use a wine from Burgundy. I actually live in Dubai. Getting wine is not an easy process, so I'm just using whatever I had in the house. Leftover wine, it's absolutely fine. Just chuck it in. We give it a good mix, and then we're gonna leave that to marinate for an hour before we dry off with a paper towel. Now it's very important that we dry it off, otherwise we won't get a nice crust when it hits the pan. Season generously with salt and pepper on both sides, and make sure you move it around so that it's evenly coated, and then we can get our pan on the largest saucepan that you have, get it on a high heat with a little bit of oil, and then we wanna sear our beef on both sides until beautifully brown, nice and crisp, and then put to the side and then fry the second batch. We don't wanna overcrowd the pan, otherwise we won't get that nice crust, so it's really important that we do that. Then we can add the first batch to the second batch with the remaining juices, and then in we go with a big knob of French butter. Now, this is important, I think, because when we add the flour, it makes it come together really nicely and helps essentially create the base of a roux is what we would do to make a really thick sauce. We're doing kind of the same process here. So then in we go with the red wine, the onions, the carrots, and the garlic. Remove any of those herbs. And then we're gonna give it a good stir, cook out the wine before squeezing in about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Give that a good mix, and then we're adding here around one and a half liters of beef stock. If you can use a good quality, homemade is the best, or just a good quality store-bought, beef stock is perfect here. Give it a good mix, add in a bunch more of our herbs, rosemary, thyme, and bay leaves, and leave to simmer on low for six, well, actually, no, that's that's that doesn't have to be that long, four hours. Leave it for four hours, six is also good on a low heat. Then we're gonna chop up some chestnut mushrooms and dice up some streaky bacon. This is for the beautiful finishing touches. So into a pan, we add our bacon and we're gonna cook this down for about five to six minutes until it begins to get nice and crispy. Add a little bit more butter. Of course, we're cooking French and in with our chestnut mushrooms. Give those a good mix, season with pepper and a little fresh thyme. No need for salt because the bacon is salty and so is the butter. Let that cook down for a few minutes, let it all come together, and then we're going to add this to our bourguignon. So remove the herbs. This is why you should really put them in a string, but I didn't have any, so it takes a bit more time to pick them out, but we got there, it's okay. And then we're going in with about three quarters of our mushrooms and bacon. Leave that to simmer whilst we chop up or slice some crusty bread, and then we're gonna cut in half and spread over a generous amount of our French butter. Then to garnish, to make it look pretty, we're just gonna roughly chop some parsley, and then we're ready to serve. So into a bowl, in we go with our beef bourguignon, and we're gonna to top with a little more of our bacon and mushrooms. Look at that, looking divine. A little parsley on top with our crusty bread on the side, and just look at that beef falling apart. There you have it, the delicious beef bourguignon. Mmm, the beef falls apart in your mouth. The sauce, the richness of it is perfectly balanced, just comes all together at the end. And then you've got the saltiness of the bacon, just fantastic with the earthiness of the mushroom as well, just brings it together. And it's just, it's just comfort food at its finest. Simple food, bit of time, put it together, let it do its thing. And that's the result, something that is just incredibly good. You know what I love so much about 
French butter. It's just so salty. It just makes it so much better. Mm. C'est magnifique. C'est très bien. C'est bon. That's about the extent of my French. It's good. It's really good. It's magnificent. Yeah. I think that's about that's about it. Describes it nicely. All right, enough. That was delicious. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>